Car enthusiast Mike Hall is one of the biggest reasons behind the success of the Canadian reality TV series, Rust Valley Restorers. The show has four seasons as of now, and is expected to have a fifth season. The show host, Hall began collecting cars in his teens, and decades later owned over 400 cars parked on his property near the Trans-Canada Highway. He tried to sell both the cars and his property in 2016, but received no offers. When he raised the price in 2017, the story went viral and he began to receive phone calls from prospective buyers. One of the phone calls was from a producer who wanted to create a documentary with him. But Mike was hesitant at first, because he was a collector, and not a restorer, but after getting to know his team, he agreed to be part of the show. Over the years, he made a global name for himself by appearing in the show. However, in the last few years, Mike has made a lot of big decisions which have affected his personal as well as professional life. In Season 4 of the Rust Valley Restorers, Mike Hall had to make the most difficult decision of his life, sell his 500 car collections which he hadn't been able to save. Hall was running out of time and money due to nearby forest fires, and new permission restrictions that could have forced him to close his business. He eventually chose to auction off his collection. Another reason that he sold the majority of his vehicles in the auction was because of his family. He didn't want them to bear any problem by leaving hundreds of cars on the property. After selling his property in Tappan earlier that year, Hall made the difficult decision to part with the majority of his collection. I'm going to leave my family with enough problems, he told the media, adding, this is one that I think I should kind of tidy up while I'm still here. The host has sold $250,000 to $260,000 worth of projects to other people that can deal with them, and has kept some of his favorite vehicles for himself. Many fans are disappointed by the fact that he has sold almost every vehicle, but one thing the viewers must note is the fact that, he is 65 years old, and has started to get tired of handling a big business. Mike himself stated that his family can deal with the leftover 40 cars, so he doesn't have any regrets. He has gathered a lot of money from his business, and he feels that it's time to slow down the pace. Speaking of money, did you know that he has made a substantial amount of money from other businesses as well? Before Mike found love in restoring the cars, he owned a slope stabilization business called Chimera Springs Rockworks. In order to simplify his business for you, Mike's main work was to hang on the cliffs and blow things up. The car enthusiast made quite some money from the construction company. And from there, he invested the same money back into purchasing old rusted cars that he began to fix and sell for a profit. He makes the majority of the remainder of his money by selling the cars he repairs. Also, you may not know this, but this is not the first reality TV show that Hall has featured in. Previously, he appeared on a reality TV show called Highway Through Hell, which featured rescues of road accidents. From there, he got exposed to the camera and also got a spike in his net worth. Recently, Mike has added a lot of fortune to his net worth after selling most of his cars. He stated that from some cars he got more money than he expected, and from some he bore the loss. However, on average he was in profit. Though he has sold most of his cars, he is most likely set to appear in the fifth season of the Rust Valley. We have reached the end of the video, are you watching the fifth season of Rust Valley? And if you've been wondering how rich is Mike Hall then, his estimated net worth is around $5 million as of now. Mike had ventured out a business way before being involved in the auto industry. And, being involved in two business ventures had easily added up a good fortune to his name. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Also, don't forget to give us a like. See you soon.